You're with the newsmakers on the panel, Ross Gumbly, Cohen Lammers and John McKenzie. The police have been accused of cowboyish and outrageous behaviour after shooting dead a steer that broke free from the sale yards in Rickerton and ran out of control. It's very easy, obviously, to be armchair generals, but um, do you trust the judgement of the police on this fateful day, or does it appear a bit rash? What do you think, Ross? Yeah, it does seem rush. I mean, who wants to see that? You know, I mean, it was it was just it was it was diabolical, and the photographs of you know posing with it were just mm. so tasteless. Mm. So I mean, I mean, it, it just seems to be handled pretty badly. Now, John. Well, I guess without knowing any more than what I read, um, we've had uh, city policemen dealing with a rural situation, and apparently they had to shoot it a number of times, Five which would times, have been horrendous. Mm. Uh, and I failed to see why they couldn't corral it. It was a, and, and that sort of thing. But not knowing much more than that, I don't know. And I found the photos and the people posing with the photos mm. absolutely horrendous, and they should be thoroughly embar embarrassed. And, and yeah, yeah. I'll touch on that second part in a moment. But in terms of the police decision, what's your hunch? The shooting, from what I, from what I've heard uh, from people who are on the scene, the uh, the steer was. Definitely out of control. It was, um, I think, it was 5:20 in the afternoon. Mm. Reckon Road was um, very, very full, and it's only a, a hop over the fence from the, from the from the high school, back on the main road. So the cops thought they had no choice. Right. Like you, I agreed. They could have, if they would have been rural cops, maybe they would have taken a different decision in trying to yeah. coax it somewhere else. And then the shooting of it, yes, that's um, um, they uh, they get trained to go for the biggest spot. And they did. They went for the gut. Yeah. And uh, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a good look. I don't mean to be glib, but can you taser a steer? <laughs> Just well, wondered if that was an option. Strong, must be a strong one. <laughs> yeah. Um, your point, John, and I know you referred to this as well, Ross. The photo of those getting a photo with this beast. That was sick, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and you guys have had quite a few letters to the paper about yeah. it. I think, haven't you? Yeah. And especially the uh, especially the grown-ups. I mean, kids. Okay. Yeah. But there were obviously the majority of people in the photos were grown-ups, mm. and I assume they were grown-ups with their kids, yeah. uh, encouraging it. And um, it was just thumbs up. It was just bizarre. Oh, it was just yeah, horrible. Mm. All right, we'll do a very quick around the grounds on this monster sporting weekend we have. Of course, uh, underway at the moment, Canterbury and Wellington in the rugby final at AMI. What do you think the full-time scoreline will be, Con? Uh, Canterbury will win easy. Yep. Yep. Nice. You agree, John? Canterbury victory. Nice. Canterbury. A trifecta. Fantastic. Um, now to... Go Southland. <laughs> Southland Go Shield. Southland. Just want to slip it in there. Yes. Anyway, Southland Shield holders. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Um, now, overseas, of course, we've got rugby and league on Sunday morning. It's going to be goggle-eyed time, isn't it, um, for television viewers? Uh, All Blacks and Wales. Will the All Blacks prevail, Con? Yes. Uh, 56 years. I think the... Uh, there was a picture in the centre spread of one of the, I think, uh, the the Western Mail in Cardiff or in yeah. Swansea, and I think they had a team photo which said, "Are these guys capable of beating the All Blacks?" And they, with a big question mark, and virtually saying no. Yeah. So even the Welsh don't even believe that they're going to win. So. <laughs> Do you agree, John? I think the Wales over, overthink it now, and they go into the whole aura loss thing. I think there's going to be uh, thirds. First third will be pretty tough. Quite middle third, they'll get away. Final third, the All Blacks will run away with it. Mr. Gumpley? I'm worried. I'm worried. I think we, we might be getting ambushed here. There's, it's been it's a re really weird build-up with Wales talking it up as much as they have and, and the trash talking, is, is that's a really strange attitude to take. Mm. I think it'll be 24-18 to the All Blacks, but I reckon Warren Gatlin, the Welsh coach, is a good man. And I think, I think we, they may just bring it to us. There's a hell of a lot of passion there. And if we, we, we're off this win of the Wallabies, you know, and we've been getting in the bit cyclic yeah. of, of winning well and then just dropping back and then playing well the week after we lose and at the moment I just think we might be a little overconfident and ripe all oh, right and of course there is the league and uh, of course the Kiwis will beat the Poms and beat Australia in the final next weekend as well now I've got 30 seconds left for free shots uh, who do you want to have a plug it and poke it uh, very very quickly Con. Um, oh definitely uh, the brick bat to uh, Rodney Hyde I think uh, yeah. um, trying to pull out of that one trying to deny what he said and then uh, trying to cover it up and uh, I think the bouquet for, uh, for our man Martin to be on the scene and, uh, and having the guts to front him as well. Go Martin. <laughs> John. Uh... Um, yeah, just for something that was handled well, um, Hayden Ralston and how he handled um, a situation with the tour of Southland mm -hmm. and how he got, had to pull out of the tour of Southland by getting hit and getting injured. I think he handled that like a true professional. And also I think the people posing with the photo of the deer, horrendous, horrible. Yeah.
Very quickly, Ross. Uh, my high flyer is Chris Timms from Peter Timms Butchery for taking out the <laughs> uh, the prize sausage in the Great New Zealand Sausage Competition. It's mango, chilli and chicken sausage, which I'm a bit worried I live in a country where that is an option. But the Supreme Award, brilliant, great to put Edgware on the map in a colourful light, so often the poor cousin to St Albans. Richmond, you know, uh, Edgware, the gateway to Shirley. Fantastic. Um, the Newsmakers poll, I'll just give you the results from last week's question. Should the right to silence be removed from child abuse cases? 68% of you said yes, 22% no, the prize winner was B. Warren. The Newsmakers poll will return next week. Thank you very much to our illuminating panel, Con Lammers, John McKenzie and Ross Gumbly. Have a marvellous weekend and uh, best of luck to Canterbury, the All Blacks and the Kiwi League team. We'll see you next week. Good night.